Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Lamborghini is working on its first fully electric product, which will arrive sometime in 2028 in the form of a 2 plus 2 Grand Tourer. In addition to hybridizing its entire lineup by the end of next year, Lamborghini will add the fourth model line to help the company attain its goal of cutting carbon emissions by 80%. At the recent debut of the 2024 Rivuelto, we sat down with Lamborghini president and CEO Stefan Winkelmann, who said that the fourth model would cover a blind spot in the company's current lineup. It's going to be a new body style because what is missing in the lineup today is a GT2 Plus 2, and I think this would be a good add-on to the two super sports cars and the SUV, Winkelmann said. In an email clarifying the CEO's statement, the automaker said the car wouldn't feature the rough road capability of the Urus, refuting rumors that it would be crossover shaped. We first made that assumption upon hearing during a Lamborghini product preview that the EV would feature more ground clearance for daily usability, but it seems that ITLL be proportioned to clear speed bumps and steep driveways, rather than fire roads and rally courses. After all, the Espada and Islero technically have more ground clearance than a Miura, and neither are destined for dirt trails anytime soon. The fully electric, four-seat GT car may instead give Lamborghini a rival for the rumored next-generation Porsche 911 EV, maybe even adopting retro styling cues from the automaker's past. The EV will join a Lamborghini lineup that's already completely electrified. The Urus will get a substantial update next year that sees it turn into a plug-in hybrid, and the replacement for the Huracan will also feature some all-electric capability to go with its gas engine. And then there's the Aventador replacing Rivuelto, the flagship that's Lamborghini's first PHEV in its 60-year history. The automaker isn't ready to discuss design specifics but the 2 plus 2 will likely borrow liberally from the Rivuelto, whose Y-motif design elements will become hallmarks of Lamborghinis from now on. The EV won't likely challenge either the Rivuelto or Huracan replacement on the track, as the automaker has already said that the technology isn't quite there for EVs to overtake supercars in terms of absolute performance. However, it's possible that the sophisticated axial flux motor technology found on the Revuelto's front e-axle would make the jump to a fully electric vehicle, bringing more power density and efficiency than the more conventional radial flux motors. Currently, only supercars like the flagship Lembo, Ferrari SF90, and McLaren Artura feature axial flux electric motors. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.